Now tonight we continue our live team coverage as Ida lashes the Gulf Coast. James Grant is live in Beaumont talking with evacuees as they plan to wait out this storm safely thanks to Southeast Texas hospitality. But first we start with Cameron Seibert. He's in Orange where the hotels are already filled up. Tonight he has the options for those still seeking shelter. Dej, it's been an overwhelming feeling of anxiety from the families I've spoken to today as they try to get updates from back home on just how bad the damage may be there. Some don't have insurance, some don't know how to repair their home once they get back, and others are just thinking about loved ones who stayed behind to help. No vacancies in Orange tonight as Louisiana evacuees seek refuge from Hurricane Ida. It was just really sad. We tried for like an hour trying to find them a hotel. People crying on the phone, their babies screaming in the background, people getting in wrecks, calling, just wanting desperate for a place to stay. And I mean, we can't just let them sleep in the lobby. Those lucky enough to get a room come from all over. Where did you say you're coming from? Berg. Well, coming from Dulage, about nine miles south of Houma. Out of Destrehan, Louisiana. From Metairie, eight hours out of New Orleans. Each with a different set of concerns, from finances. I live from month to month on salary, so I don't have no insurance on my house. To flooding. Weather don't bother me a whole lot, just the water. That's, that's my main concern right now is the water. To how they might go about repairing their homes. I just get fixed. You know, I can't do nothing anymore. Um, I have to hire somebody to do it or have friends come do it. And while they wait out the storm, one question looms overhead. What would you say is the biggest concern for you right now? What I'm going to go home to. Martin also worries about the aftermath and how COVID may play a role. You know, it's been bad with the pandemic and everything. Just to get contractors to do anything, God knows what's going to happen. I and mean, this is a, trying to get repairs done if you have the capability of getting them done. While hotels in the area around Orange may be at capacity, evacuees can still seek shelter here at Orange Church of God on 16th Street. I spoke with Pastor Moffitt. He tells me there's still about 40 beds available. Reporting live in Orange, Cameron Seibert, 12 News.